information tonight about a 53 year old Milwaukee woman who died in a car crash early Saturday morning. This is the second fatal crash at Servite Drive and Brown Deer Road since January. Family identifying the woman killed Saturday as Valina Alexander. They gathered tonight for a balloon release and vigil at Brown Deer and Servite where that crash happened. Milwaukee police say early Saturday morning, a 19 year old driver traveling east on Brown Deer Road slammed into Alexander, who was traveling west, trying to turn left on Servite. Family tells 12 News she was a mother, a grandmother, and a teacher at Riverside High School. I am so, so, so sad that this had to happen. She is a great leader, a beautiful person. She's giving. She is, she doesn't give up. She was so resilient. Officers did arrest the 19 year old driver and referred charges to the district attorney's office. Right now, a man is in custody after police say he barricaded himself at a home. It happened near 89th and Mill at about 11 this morning. Police calling it a tactical situation, but not specifying if the man was armed. 12 news cameras at the scene showing a man on top of the roof there. No one was hurt. Tonight, two teens are hurt after a double shooting in Milwaukee's Harambe neighborhood. It happened just before 11 last night near Concordia and Buffum. Both victims are 16 years old and expected to survive. Milwaukee police say they do not know what led up to the shooting or who pulled the trigger. If you have any information, contact MPD or Crime Stoppers to stay anonymous. And turning now to Commitment 2024. President Joe Biden is planning his second trip to Wisconsin in less than a month. The White House says the president will visit Madison tomorrow. President Biden will then travel to Chicago for a campaign reception. The president visited Milwaukee in March. Officials haven't provided details about tomorrow's visit, but he's expected to talk about student loan forgiveness. And the race for the White House is heating up tonight on Upfront, Wisconsin's new warning signs for both the Biden and Trump campaigns. Hi everyone, good evening. A lot of new insight from Tuesday's primary. We're going inside former President Donald Trump's first rally in Green Bay of the 2024 cycle. The push by Republican Party officials to convince Trump supporters to vote early. Then the Biden protest in Wisconsin. Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley is here. The Lincoln Project, the former Republican operatives working to ensure Trump isn't reelected. Now their push here in Wisconsin. Trick V. Olson, a Wisconsin native, senior advisor, one on one with Jaron. And staying in, Democratic State Rep Evan Goyke elected Milwaukee's next city attorney, but he's not leaving the legislature just yet. It's a busy week ahead. We're going to get you set up front all new tonight at 11. And the anniversary of an iconic film shot right here in Milwaukee. The celebration of the movie that features country sta county stadium, Third Ward, and a special Milwaukee bar. Plus, heartbreak for Iowa star Caitlin Clark and an undefeated season for South Carolina women's basketball. The women's national championship highlights. And it looks like we're starting to wrap things up here with the rainfall, bringing in some sunshine for your Eclipse Monday. Talking about that on Weather Watch 12. Hey, Milwaukee, grab your phone and scan this QR code to download our free, very local app. Watch our newscasts, original series, and so much more. Scan the code and stream like a local.
Today, Milwaukeeans celebrated 35 years since the release of the hit movie Major League. The classic baseball movie was released on April 7th, 1989. It was filmed in Milwaukee and includes scenes at Milwaukee County Stadium, Third Ward and Fourth Base Milwaukee, which held a watch party today. What's special about it is seeing the same people come through every year doing the same thing and honoring a place and honoring a movie that's so special. Fun fact, Milwaukee residents were extras for the movie's final game filmed at County Stadium, and our producer Maria's mom can even be seen in the stands. I'm sure a lot of you at home were part of that too.